so this is one more video related to forms in Django and this is the first video about form sets where I will give you an overview about form sets we'll have second video next about uh, more advanced stuff in form sets but for now let's uh, let's touch the basics so uh, sometimes you for example I have here my form for creating a student and sometimes for example I might want to create multiple students at once and I want to have multiple forms like that and for that we need uh, form sets so in order to use them let's import form set factory so let's create a form set here Let's call it student for set form set for example form set factory create student form then let's initialize it student form set and now let's render it like this and also here we now pass a form set to our template so in order to display a form set we need to iterate for it for it and we iterate for, for form set and we render each form there and for now it's still only one empty field and we can change that uh, if we specify for example uh, extra fields here extra Two, then we have two empty fields we can specify three extra fields so now we have three different forms uh, the other thing we can do is we can specify the data uh, the bind data for each form for that we write initial here and we specify a list and we specify name equals John for example in this case we have one field uh, with this John and one extra field we might have uh, one more dictionary here for example for John 2 And you can see here that we have two pre-populated fields and one extra field. We can specify again two extra fields here. It would uh, give us now two pre-populated fields and two extra empty fields. If we specify zero, we don't uh, have any empty fields here. And yeah, so this is how you define your form sets. Uh, you can also specify the maximum number of fields. For example, maximum number equals two or even one, for example. If you specify one, it doesn't really uh, work because here we have two fields, but you can see difference between three maximum fields four four or three doesn't matter because we still have one extra field and only one extra field but if you specify maximum two we have only pre-populated fields if you specify maximum now num maximum number one it doesn't change anything here let's uh, do one more important uh, thing is let's actually get get the data from our forms and in order to work with that we have to for example specify 
our form student form set before everything and uh, this is what we have uh, left from our lesson about uh, forms in general and it would be better for you to know what we did in this lesson so I will leave the link below but basically now if we uh, receive the post request uh, we can try to get the form set student form set with request post data and we can try to return it through HTTP response client data and for now we will get an error if we try to submit we have here our management form data is missing or has been tampered with in order to work around this problem we need to add form set management form here in our template and now we actually receive our data that we sent here and we can actually work with that we can iterate through clean data and actually create student students with these names so please uh, give a like, subscribe, post a comment, it means a lot to me and it uh, helps my channel to grow, so please do that if you want to support me and thank you.